So what's up guys, today we're going to be talking about Life is Feudal MMO and the closure of the game. Uh, as you can tell I'm kind of sick today, I had a really weird day yesterday where I got back from the doctors and then just like my whole body just went really weird and then today I'm feeling the consequences of that. Uh, I did plan to make this video yesterday so the news came out that Life is Feudal MMO is closing down and this was completely out of left field for me, completely out of the blue and that's because the 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 game didn't seem to be having any imminent problems. Uh, it's obviously had population issues in the past, but they've never dropped below that critical threshold where the game couldn't be profitable or the game couldn't be playable. But just recently, they just went, game's closing, sorry guys, uh, and we can't really tell you why. So I have some insider info on this. I've had conversations with some people, and I'm just here to inform you guys, give you closure uh, if you do perhaps play the game or just to inform you on the shitty things that are going on behind the scenes right under your very noses by companies that you may in fact trust. So uh, this is obviously going to be based on Exola and I will just outline real quick. Life is Feudal, small game from Russia by a small development team, not a whole bunch of money. Uh, it's a niche game, of course it's a niche game, but the reaction to this game closing in my eyes from our community is is disgusting frankly um and we will go over the reddit thread in a little while in this video and talk about the reaction of people and just how fucking how people seem to revel in in the closure of a game just because they simply don't like it and this really speaks to the problem that we have in this genre and and online communities in general of just we don't like something so therefore we have to shit on it it's closed all those people that enjoyed the game are you know, out of a game that they enjoyed, all the people who worked on the game are out of a job, and this entire game is now gone, and these people are just like, yeah, fuck that game, fuck that game, fuck these developers, and it's simply because I didn't like the game, and they they don't even want to look into any nuance, any context, any anything at all. They see somebody say, we've got to close our game, and it's completely out of our hands, and their first reaction is to go, yeah, no, it's not. The game's bad. Yeah, the game's bad and you should feel bad. Typical fucking Redditor nonsense. So, yeah, we'll go over that and uh, what happened with Life is Feudal and what the game is. So, here we go. It's a game made by a Russian company, a uh, small company. They made Life is Feudal your own as a way to fund the development of the MMORPG. They basically crowdfunded. They released your own. You could make your own servers. You still can, by the way. That still exists. They've not scammed anybody. And you, that was, to be honest, more fun for me than the MMO was. Uh, it had its problems, but it was pretty fun as a game. I played it quite a lot. Uh, after that was was out, they continued to take the money and put it into the MMO. Eventually releasing the MMO, and it had its problems, but it did see multiple thousands of concurrent players repeatedly over the last few years. And it wasn't the worst game I've ever played. It wasn't, you know, absolutely terrible. It just was slow. It was slow and it was designed to be that way and it isn't for most people, unfortunately. Um, so what happened was they came out and said, I'll read you the whole statement here, well, I'll not read you the whole statement, but essentially they've said we have to close the game, but it's not our fault. It's not even our choice. We basically are working with a company that have turned around and said, we will not pay you what you should be paid and what are you going to do about it? Now, Obviously, this is Exola. Um, people, some people have, have seen through this and, and obviously looked into who they're working with and uh, the situation of the company. It's obviously Exola. And this is, yet again, another example of Exola being not such a great company to work with, to give your money to. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like more and more games are not using Exola as a payment vendor, which is, I think, good for good for the industry because this is what they're doing. So in this, he mentions that they were basically asked to do something. And when they said, we don't want to do that, uh, I think this is going to be bad for our business, bad for us as a company, Exola basically turned around and said, okay, well, we are not going to give you any more money then. This Basically, how the the operation works is the company is made by, uh, the game, sorry, is made by a company. The company has all of their payment processing handled by Exola, so they never see a penny of the money until Exola says, here's your share. Um, so if Exola just says, we're not giving you your money anymore, how exactly do people expect them to operate a business like this? And of course, people are going to say, well, surely that's not legal. What difference does that make? Um, the amount of time it would take to get a, a, a civil decision 
uh, and get monies back from a company that is much larger than you, can hire uh, much better lawyers than you, it would be too long that the game would be fucked anyway. They'd have no money to operate it, no money to develop it. And obviously, siphoning off what resources you, little resources you do have to a legal battle that could potentially take years just to get the money that you're owed and then still be in a, in a partnership that is so fractured um, just doesn't make any sense. So from what I've been told behind the scenes, the, the, salu the situation is entirely on Exola. This is like some... This is like some gangster shit that's been pulled here. This is... I can't go into all the details, but just trust me when I say, at least if what I'm being told is is truthful, d Life is Feudal Devs didn't do anything here, and they've essentially just had their business ripped out from under them and just been told, you had a business, now it's ours. Get fucked, basically. Um, so that's what's happened. Uh, the, the company behind Life is Feudal is apparently... Just going to move on. Uh, there may be some some legal action going on. Can't speak to that, whether it happens or not, or you know how it proceeds. But as of now, they have just said they're closing the game down and they will uh, continue to work on something else and perhaps we'll get something about that in the future. So the thing I really wanted to talk about is just the reaction of people on Reddit. And this shit is... It, this really actually does bother me because without any additional information, without speaking to anybody, without actually reading into the context of anything, people are just so ready to shit on on everything. So this is the top comment. This has been upvoted 302 times. And it says, it's closing because it's a bad game, not because it's not their fault. You know, obviously based on zero evidence whatsoever. I don't like the game, therefore it should close. And you should all be aware that it's closing because I don't like it. Because I don't like this game, it should definitely be closing. And good attempt to blame it on someone else. So completely removing any kind of, of uh, actual evidence or logical conclusion that, you know, why would you close a game that still has hundreds of players on it every day? You're still making money from it. Um, just, you know, fuck this game because I don't like it. Fuck these developers because I don't like them. Boring as fuck game, poorly optimized, lol. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's a small game by a small development team, understandably. It's not going to be the best game. But uh, essentially, if you go through this Reddit thread, this, you know, comments like, oh, what is like, the TIL, TIL, there's an MMO called Life is Feudal. Yeah, great. Like, uh, and here we go. From this letter, Eric Solar, given the reputation, I ten tend to believe that Lyft devs, mostly at least. Now, again, just to say, I've been, I've had a conversation about this behind closed doors, but I can't verify what I've been told. Now, this could be just an entire scheme to blame Exola and that they just wanted to close down the game. But just based on what I know, uh, the story, um, who I've spoken to, because this is not just one person, th what I've heard from behind the scenes about Exola over the last year or so in the first place, I 100% feel that it's reasonable that this is the outcome, uh, that this is what has actually happened. So there's not a whole lot I can I can tell you, because if you know, if you know about Exola, and you know about Russian business, um, it's not really a company or a kind of involvement you want to be in and like bad mouth in and come out publicly and say, this is what they've done to us or this is what they've done to this person because it can have dire consequences. Um, it, and this is par for the course with stuff like that that goes on. Again, another one here, any specifics? Nah, yeah, yeah, legally they can't really if they're in a legal battle for their game being stolen from under them. They're obviously not going to be specifically talking about things, are they? You know, have a bit of common sense, maybe. Uh, own up to any failings on behalf of the company? Definitely not. I'm not sure what failings you want them to own up in when they're talking about closing the game. Do you want a, a mea culpa of, we made a game that you didn't like, um, wab away, wab away from Reddit. You didn't like it, so I guess, sorry, mate, that's all bad. Uh, any attempts to hand over the game to the player base so the game could see a potential, though unlikely, second life on a private server? Crickets. This is... People say this all the time, and it's one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever heard in my life. Um, so what you're saying is, you want a company who, by the way, is in a publishing agreement, so they don't even fully own the rights to their game, and they're in a publishing agreement with a company that is literally stealing their business from them, and you want them to release the game to the public, uh, stuff that they've worked for, stuff that legally they would be on, on the hook for and get sued. Uh, you want them to do that. Yeah, it makes sense. Seems like Reddit to me, I guess. Totally reasonable take. Uh, the game is not making any money. Take your aerial photo and fuck off. Again, it, I really, really hope that this is not 
at times I do read things like this and hope that this is not the community that we're fostering and the community that are watching my videos. But if it is, I don't really know what to say because shit like this is actually fucking disgusting. Um, so yeah, that's the life is feudal situation. And if you didn't, couldn't tell from this video, I'm, I'm kind of sick at the moment. Past couple of days have not been too good. So uh, hopefully I'll have some more content for you guys soon. There's more stuff I could have gone into on this. Like I say, there's there's a lot of things behind the scene, scenes that you guys don't know about. But I, I'm unfortunately, I can't really talk about them because I don't want to put other people in the firing line. And anything that I potentially say could get back to them or that you know something came from somebody else and i don't want to make their life any more difficult than it already is um if you want to know anything about exola like i say go look into it um there's a lot of stuff with chronicles of valeria uh they're on the hook for their refund policy things like that when they tried to get into publishing in around 2016 they tried to get games and you look at where those games are now you know, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that these are people not operating on good faith. And the next time you see a game that has Exola on it, think twice about giving them your money because unfortunately the devs are going to get wrecked from this, but Exola needs to go, I think. Uh, they're just bad for the space and they're obviously not in this with good intentions. So thank you very much for watching as always. Stay safe out there. Have a nice Christmas if I don't see you before. You probably will. Peace out. Mm -hmm.